When I told you don't die in their war, they are all together in the spirit realm. They might be fighting each other, arguing with each other, but in the spirit realm, they are together. Could you believe that uh, J. Istre and uh, Jaffa, they both came out to fight for, to defend the fake, um, the fake prophet Yubat Enje, the one that sold his country for his own gain, for his own pleasure. The Zimbabwe people are still coming out to fight for to to defend him. Could you imagine? And also, you know, after um, so, um, Solomon Temple had issue with uh, J. Israel, that is when. Um, what was it called? Af Aflukai came, came again and started pursuing Solomon. So they fight for each other because when they meet each other in their realm, they become friends. But to us, we think they are fighting. They are not fighting. So don't die in their world. Let's hear what J. Israel is saying here. Dube, also known as J. Israel, appears to throw his weight behind his former spiritual father, Uber Angel, on the Al Jazeera documentary. In a cryptic post, a Zimbabwean said the people castigating Yubed Angel would have done worse if they were in his position and says he sees nothing wrong with the Al Jazeera documentary. I don't see anything wrong with the documentary. All I see is people doing what you could have done worse. Everybody is a thief. Just that the opportunity to steal hasn't been presented to you yet. So shut up and pray, he said on his official platform. Jay, who is currently in Nigeria, was the spiritual son of Ibed Angel until they parted ways in 2018. Meanwhile, outspoken Zimbabwean journalist Hopwa Chinono says he would not be reporting on Al Jazeera's documentary findings after claiming that he had received threats from President Emerson Nangagwa's spokesperson, George Charamba. As a result, Mr. Chinono says he is quitting reporting on the findings for his own safety. He said in a tweet that after these continued threats from President Nangagwa's spokesman against journalists reporting on the Al Jazeera findings, I won't be reporting on this story for my own safety. George Charamba has made it clear the consequences if we continue, unquote. This comes after George Charamba had issued continued threats against journalists reporting on the Al Jazeera documentary, which was filmed two years ago. The president's spokesperson tweeted that those reporting inaccurate news will join senior opposition leader who is languishing in jail. Al Jazeera is not a court of law before whose claims impart privileges to defamatory utterances. It is merely some weaponized channel. If you are reckless enough to repeat what its foreign documentary defamatorily says, hoping to plead. Can you imagine... The, 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 the threat that is coming from this, from this government. They know Ubatenje is, is, is fake, is a thief. That's why they made him an ambassador. But unfortunately for them, he was making too much money for himself than what, than what goes into their own pockets. So they, they, they deliberately ordained a thief to be an ambassador for their country. That's why this is paining them. That's why they are throwing everybody that wants to expose them into prison. Can you imagine? Who is going to deliver Africa from all this mess? How, how, how is Africa going to be better when we have all these people in power? Stay tuned. Break bats. Come. Be warned. He stated. Yeah. Hubert knows that he has all these people behind him. That's why he cannot be bothered. He was just doing what he likes. But unfortunately for them, God raised Al Jazeera. And Zimbabwe abroad will show them pepe. Just watch and see. So for my bloggers in Zimbabwe, for the journalists in, Z in Zimbabwe, please be safe out there. See you on my next video. Bye for now.